I'm going to make this a very quick video, real simple. Right here, Frankfurt Arsenal pocket swager desk mount. Uh, most common problem everybody has is the spring snaps after a while. Well, uh, two hacks I want to bring to your attention is one, I use the Lee uh, quick change desk piece. What I had to do for that was real simple. I only had to draw, um, drill one bolt out on the plate itself made sense also in order for the railing to hold and catch appropriately without it popping out amongst the um while you're swaging i had a few pieces of these pieces of metal lying around wicked thin um i would have used a washer but i didn't have a washer in my little box of tools so i placed a couple of them underneath on this edge and what it did was it created a upright motion to hold it in place and not slip out. I'm probably on right about now about a thousand plus rounds for the day. And I finally snapped my spring after about a year of use. So I did a little bit of quick work here. This right here was just holding it together for me real quick to make sure it worked. Again, as you can see on this side, I used remnants of washers and um, thin pieces of metal just to even it out and hold it in place. Also, I had to create a uh, very quick here, a leg, because as you know, it pushes down with your pressure. Now, here's the spring hack that I want to show you. Again, I'm on a minute and a half right now. I'm using with my hand, and I hate that. But here we go. So you take your brass, right? You notice I have a wrench here. This is a 3 8 wrench because you need to be able to fit in and out. So you take this, you put it in, bear with me, you put it in, you find the groove, and you push down, see how I push down, let it go, and the weight, the weight of this automatically pops it back out. Just keep in mind, whatever you use has to go all the way down and not, not get in the way of that. But I'm doing this one-handed, but I think you guys are smart enough and intelligent enough to understand what... Um, the point of this hack was that spring breaks customer service will replace it takes time but if you're in the middle of something real quick like you just place a bolt uh, excuse me a wrench right here and it provides enough weight without getting in the way so you put your uh, put your piece of brass in there line it up bring the hammer down on it I'm doing it one-handed guys so I'm sorry so it finds the pocket Clear the pocket, release, and as soon as you release, it comes out. It's that simple. Oh, by the way, without that spring in the back, it's a whole lot easier to operate. Uh, the third and final hack I want to bring to your attention is oil. I have uh, house oil that I keep to, you know, on the property and stuff around here, and I'll squirt it. So you want to make sure you get some oil on the head of the punch. So as it makes contact, it's a whole lot easier and smooth. And also I hosed it down in the back a little bit to make sure everything was well lubed. I mean, it's oil. You're not going to hurt anything. Um, yes, some will get on the head of this. But as you know, um, I got to trim and clean anyways. So no harm, no foul. I used these um, quick vice grips uh, clamps to help get in place while I was tightening everything up. And I'm on about number 500 after doing this hack. And I'm almost done there. And I got to tell you, it works great. Thanks for listening. Um, again, sorry for the shoddy camera work, but it's a quick hack. And I wanted to share it as much as I can because I've seen the reviews and people posting about, oh, no, the spring broke. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Oh, no, it doesn't line up. That's all there is to it. Just a little bit outside the box and a little bit of DIY work. Could you make it better? Sure. That's what I would like you to do. Stir this up with your memory a little bit. And maybe you'll come up with something a lot better. But keeping the same idea and concept that I have so that, you know, on a Friday night and you don't have a spring handy and it breaks, at least you now know. Thank you for watching.